success is ultimately getting a new drug into the clinic where you can prevent death and major disability from stroke. A stroke is damage to the brain due to either a blood clot or bleeding on the brain. At home on a Sunday with my wife, my speech was going. I went to rest for a while. I was having problems with my balance and then we thought it was time to go to hospital. When Joe presented to hospital, it was too late for him to receive the clot dissolving agent. Most people who have a stroke, we can't offer them any specific therapy. They're basically just getting supportive care. In the first hours and days after the beginning of the symptoms, he got a little worse and developed some very significant uh, trouble talking and weakness on the right side of his body. At the moment, we've got two ways of treating strokes. The first is with a clot dissolving drug that's commonly referred to as TPA, or alternatively, and more recently, a device that can extract the clot. Maybe 10% of all patients uh, will have the opportunity to receive that, that treatment, one in 10. We've done over a thousand different trials of drugs in stroke. Only one has shown benefits, and that's TPA. So tissue plasminogen activator activates plasminogen, which is an enzyme in our bloodstream that's normally there. What happens when we have a stroke is that blood clots develop. They disturb the blood flow in our blood vessels and they only get bigger and bigger, and then they block off blood flow. The blood clot is made up of the blood cells, which are platelets, and fibrin, which are, which are like, like a net that secures the blood clot in place. And so the TPA will help to get rid of that insoluble fibrin mesh, whereas our drug will come in and also act on the blood clotting cells. We have evidence that when we combine our drug with current stroke therapy, that the preclinical models come out better. What I find very exciting about this work and, and these discoveries is that uh, potentially we are finding new ways to treat those people who currently can't be treated or aren't treated optimally. I've been making pasta for 25 years. I had a stroke. Um, I was pretty hands-on in production. It's been 15 months. Hopefully I'll be able to um, get back into pasta making um, soon, but for the meantime, I sit in the office and do ad administration work. The collaboration between the Heart Research Institute and the George Institute for Global Health offers a world-class ability for translational medicine to translate the discovery in the laboratory into clinical practice and into global health benefits. So we've done the phase one trials. We're embarking now to do phase two, looking at your drug over a whole range of doses in a broad range of patient population. We're planning to start those studies in the next 12 months. And then we're going to look at different age groups, ethnic backgrounds, and make sure that it, it can be used safely in a wide population. If we can offer the potency extra benefit without a bleeding risk, that's revolutionary. I mean, that, that would change clinical practice all around the world. We really need your support to help us with our groundbreaking research that has a huge impact on the lives of patients who are suffering from stroke.